May I help you? I have questions. Ask, Traveller. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Underwater city? The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Oh, I'm all now about the, the debauchery. inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. Just one cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Damn. Prize-winning cow. She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made Murky Waters famous. Thanks for the story. Right, Peggy? May I help you? Debauchery's my middle name. Also my first and last name. Farewell. Alright, I need someone who can actually let me at my storage here. The Rock? Oh, please tell me he's no cooking changes. something. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? Yes. I meant no offense. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not Do I have funny. a nickname? Your question reminded me They call me the big games. D. The D is for resist. debauchery. Hmm. No matter. How can I help? The, the big is because I'm gaining weight. <laughs> One thing. Yes? Yay! Storage space! Jeebus! Wives tier, we're gonna hang on to that. More drugs, hooray. Some kind of unknown oil, don't care. We can make Wolverine. Increases damage inflicted when vitality drops to 50%. Willow, increase resistance to knockdown and stun. That could be useful. Ornithosaur oil. Increases damage caused to ornithosaurs. Useful. Well, at least straightforward. I am now Geralt of the Raspberry Eater. I am changing my name and my entire lifestyle. Uh, hookers won't talk to me anymore, so I guess I don't need to hang on to flowers. Still collecting them salamander badges. I was hoping to find. Oh, you know what? I bet it's because it's uh, nighttime. Here, have some money. Oh, good gracious! For a second, I thought that was the innkeeper. Mad Pagan, thank you so much. You're amazing. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time, but he lives in another large hut, so... I'll find it. How can I help? So I'm a little bit low energy tonight. I haven't really had much coffee today. I woke up this morning, I started packing boxes, I made dinner, I continued packing boxes, and then I started streaming. <sighs> Hopefully this whole moving business, I mean, it'll be out of the way in the near future, one way or the other, but... Sooner rather than later will be best. Any interesting news? So. Oh, wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. How to know when you're in a small town, when the most exciting thing happening in the entire countryside is somebody's getting married. One thing. Yes? 
I'd like to rent a room. Sure. A bargain at seven or in. Dude, in the cities I only pay five. This is outrageous. I should stab everybody here. What? He's raising rates. I just don't know these people anymore. Oh, damn it. I didn't take any alcohol with me. Oh, you know what? We were just increasing our uh, sword styles. What do I need for this? Stamina 3. I already have Stamina 3. Oh, I'm out of tokens. Her. Alright, so we've maxed out all the bronze things on our spells. I might as we might as well let's get everything in strength, even if we don't use it. And rest until dawn. Who wants to get slammed? Who wants to get slammed? second here. Okay. Sorry about that. So you're the lucky guy getting Greetings, married. Witcher. What is wrong with your forehead? So many people in these towns have some kind of That's weird rare. line going across the Usually forehead. people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. <laughs> I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. I like this dude so far. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. Small plot. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. So it's just a Grandfather mine. always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that the Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. Hm. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of Bobolak scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. Hopefully the during a thunderstorm. Answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully, that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract, they became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. So, I think the moral of this story is, if you ever get upset by something, run outside and curse all of the gods and goddesses that you know in the foulest language you know. Surely that is the moral of this story. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. Best moral that I know of. It's a good moral. I see nothing wrong with it. Now, we could sell our ring of the brothel. I'm not sure if we're going to be going back there in a while. I call it that because it gives us half off at the brothel. The, I'm sorry, 
the night house. It's the classy brothel. We should probably keep the city guard ring. I feel like that might be useful again at some point in the future if we ever find our way back to the city. Alright, this is a book we haven't read, so we should purchase it. A censored version of the famous Tome of Owls of the Mage. Contains spells for how to create monsters. That sounds like that should definitely be in the public hands. Diary of a Passionate Dice Player. I'm not too interested in reading that. Double Cross of Alzur. I'm not really interested in that. This one, though, Disenchanting Astriga. Because this will give us some insight into what actually happened at the beginning of the game. The Witcher then said to King Foltest, Pay me, sire, and I will find your daughter in the Dark Tomb. I will, I will restore her human form if I can, and if I cannot, then I will not hesitate to kill the princess. The king understood this was his only chance, and so placed his daughter's fate in the witcher's hands. The conjurer struggled with the Striga for hours. He warded her off with silver and magic arts. He grappled with the beast and did not let her wound him, but avoided causing serious harm to her as well. Finally, he locked himself in the crypt, sealed the entrance with magic, and waited until dawn. Witchers possess great knowledge about monsters and know that the rooster's morning call is enough to disenchant a cursed creature. Huh! Interesting. Very cool. Stand still! Stand still! Your mother sacks We gotta fight the rock. I heard you beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Blah, blah. Then welcome. They call me the Rock. Sounds ominous. Sounds Wanna like fight a cooking a real name. Champion? What's the wager? Five hundred orins. I'm in. Who wants to get slapped? Come on and fight me, I'm debaucherous D. Ah. Oh my god, I'm stuck on this tough fist fighter. Oh my god, look at him run! Bop. No challenge? Oh my god, I'm stuck no on this challenges. stupid fist fighter. Hmm. Do it! Oh. Oh, the gut punch! <laughs> Congratulations, champ. Before you collect your reward, know another fight awaits. Who with? Go to the swamp, where you'll meet the nameless one. The nameless your one. Reward. Um, meteorite steel seems to be pretty useless, honestly. Because it seems to only be able to enchant a regular sword, not my silver one. And my regular sword right now, I have yet to find anything that comes remotely close to its damage or its effects. <gasps> Akingorp! Have a good night, you son of a mother. That's okay. Uh, about nine. Now, I don't really use the runes either, to be honest. I guess let's take the a meteorite, meteorite steel. steel. Yeah. I just want to see if there's new colors. We've seen green, or we've seen red, and we've seen blue. Ah, oh, there is! Yellow. Plus 20% damage, pain stun, and precise hit. See, that's still not as good as the sword we're currently using. A professional? Who's this? The famous Whitey? Shame not to fight you. You in? Can't help but notice you're carrying a whole bunch of knives. Whoa, can we really play him for a hundred? The white-haired one in action! Indeed. I guess I'm one to talk. He's got a bunch of knives. I've got a bunch of swords. I am not compensating, I swear. Ha! I'll smash your face. <laughs> 